What is happening, Adventure Nation? We are just outside of Daytona Beach in the Tomoka State Park. We're gonna go into Daytona, do some exploring. This is the Motorhome Experiment. So we have been into Daytona before, stayed overnight one night. I don't know if we were doing a cruise or what we were doing, but Lorena wasn't a big fan. I have great memories of this place from when I was a teenager. I lived here long ago with a friend of mine. That's another story. But we're going to go into Daytona today, drive down the beach a little bit, do a quick tour, show you guys around a little bit, and see what we can find. And see what trouble we can get in. <laughs> It's pretty surprising how empty this campground is being as close to your belt. Is it I have the car and Lorena telling me to put my seatbelt on and we're still in the campground. But yeah, I'll, well, it's I need not to do about that. safety at this point, it's just about that annoying beep beep. <laughs> All right. From a nostalgic standpoint, it seems like not much has changed here in Daytona, but from a standpoint of this place should have been long updated standpoint, pretty disappointing. I never really thought about that. We could have done beach day. Just come to the beach, relax. Ha! Relax. I know, you're happy that I never thought about that. Yeah. Thanks for listening to Classic Rewind today. Sure, I'm like the people. At the helm. And that actually sounds really store good. Stories, you know, 30 years ago. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's very nice. How's the water, Lori? On the feet. Amazingly nice, so like warm. It's very nice, isn't it? I'm shocked. I don't remember the Atlantic being this warm at this time of year. One of the great things about the beach here is that it's really shallow and it's shallow for quite a long way. You can see people are playing way out. It's not that steep slope that you might find on the west side or the west coast of Florida. So it's great for kids. And now that they've got it all closed off to traffic, you don't have to worry about them running out in front of a Jeep or some other car. So pretty cool. Great for families, great for kids. Uh, great for walking on the beach with the water, like with your feet in the water. Also, if you're coming to this side of the world, and even if you don't have an RV, so you don't have the gear, the umbrellas, the chairs, and all that stuff, they have all these little yeah. trucks with rentals. So you can just come here with your base or your towel, and just rent a launcher or an umbrella, and you can have a day here. Yep, yeah, pretty cool. Yep. hotel behind us is the Hilton and Lori and I stayed up in one of these rooms right here a few years ago great views but again nothing has changed here at all like literally in 30 years
haven't been to a biker bar in quite some time, so we thought we'd come to one of the most famous biker bars in the United States. We are now entering the beach at the International Speedway Boulevard, which if we went the other way, went to the Daytona Speedway. Mm -hmm. This, the guy just told us, is six miles, or six and a half miles down this way that we can drive, so that's what we're gonna do. These guys here are trying to get unstuck. I don't know if I would recommend driving too far down the beach unless you have either front wheel drive or four wheel drive. And just make sure you stay down towards the water a little bit more and the hard pack stuff. They do have travel lanes designated, but when two cars come together, sometimes the people on the northbound side are quite a ways up. This is the Ponce Inlet Lighthouse. We're not gonna climb this one or go in and see it. One, it's like five minutes to five and they're almost closed. And two, we've got a lot of other walking to do today and we don't wanna burn our legs out like we did in Key West. We're such wussy. They have a lot of other buildings and things here too that I'm, I'm assuming are part of a tour that you can do and check out other lights that they used to have in the lighthouse and things like that. Looks like a really cool thing to do if you, uh, if you have time while you're here. It was a beautiful sunshiny day, so we told a couple of viewers we'd meet them for dinner up here in Flagler. What happened, Lori, to our weather? I don't know. <laughs> rain always <laughs> follow us. Well, Florida needed rain, so that's Yeah, good. Florida did need rain, so Florida that's Poor they were almost running out of water. <laughs> All right, let's make a run for it. Okay, I think they made it. <laughs> they made it! We made it! <laughs> it is moving day out of Tomoka State Park, heading up north towards St. Augustine to favor Dykes. We picked a little bit of an inopportune moment to leave. Five minutes ago the sun was out, and now... I'm soaking wet, I got power and water unhooked, but leaving right now and hooking up the car? I don't think that's gonna happen for a few minutes. Lori, are you ready to go hook up the car? You, I know you know how to do it. So no. I'll, I'll <laughs> wait here while you get the car hooked up. No, we just wait for the rain. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. All right, a little break in the weather here. So Lori's gonna jump in the car. We're gonna head over to the dump station and do that quickly before we head up the road to St. Augustine. This was really a cool campground. Uh, it's very rustic, but it's close to Daytona, uh, really close to the beaches, and it was pretty empty. I'm sure this weekend, being Memorial Day weekend, it'll be busier, but very nice. All right, that pack up happened a little quick. 
but uh, I think we've got everything and we're ready to head out of the Daytona area. We're actually at Tomoka State Park, just outside of Daytona, actually just outside of Ormond Beach, which is north of Daytona. And we're heading only a few miles up the road, only about, what, 30, 40 miles up the road mm -hmm. to Favor Dykes and St. Augustine, spend a few days there. And we're gonna meet up with some old friends, so that'll be fun. You ready? I'm ready. Cool. I think we have everything tightened up. We'll find out when it comes crashing to the floor. I can't really say that. <laughs> We are gonna head back over to A1A, which is the coastal road. US1 runs on the intercoastal side. A1A runs along the, the Atlantic coast. And so we're gonna take A1A up to Palm Coast and then cut into Favor Dykes. As we approach the Flagler Beach Pier, you'll notice this area over here on the right where you can see bits and pieces of the road. This all got destroyed during Hurricane Matthew. I don't know if that was last year or before. It was fairly recently. And you can see some of the little stairs that people have to go down the dunes to the beach were also destroyed and a lot of them being rebuilt now but you can definitely see it through here where the road was just, the beach and the road was just completely wiped out. There on the right where it says Flagler Beach, Florida on the roof is the Funky Pelican. We were gonna eat there the other night, but it was pouring rain and we didn't figure sitting out on the pier in the pouring rain would be any fun. So we went over here to the left to Finn's where it has the rooftop as well. And we still couldn't eat on the roof because it was pouring rain. But a cool little beach town, this Flagler Beach. Let's wave goodbye to Jerry and Linda. They live here. Yeah, Jerry and Linda, if you're watching, we're, we waved. I don't know if you saw us, but we did. This area here is called the Palm Coast, and it looks absolutely amazing. No, I'm not stopping at that. It was orange. It was red. And this looks absolutely incredible. It's only about 30 miles north of Daytona. I would have to check mileage to Orlando, but pretty handy to Orlando. Beautiful looking area. The homes are incredible. They've got a neat uh, marina, kind of yacht club area. Very cool looking. A couple of golf courses. <laughs> There's our welcoming party there. That's our welcoming party. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. It's awesome. We love it. We love it. All right. Let's check out the campground here at Faber Dykes. Pretty sure it's probably Faber Dykes, but I figured I'd say it wrong first just to irritate you guys. Lori is not happy with the way her car looks after coming in here, but this campsite is enormous. It's huge. We can fit two RVs, just in case you guys want to join us. Any room. Yeah, a few RVs, a couple tents. Beautiful spot in here. And we are meeting friends here that we met in Houston for the first time. But now they're here, and look what they. We're found. pretty sure they know that we're staying here, 
I don't know. Kind of looks like they know that we're here. So <laughs> we're going to go find them now. Very rustic, as they called it. They called it Jurassic Park. Very rustic. It is done. That's a word. I don't know if rustic is the word. Very wilderness-like. Nestle in nature. Our friends told us that their kids wanted to have a pajama party tonight, so I got ready early. He did. I figured that I would mess with their kids. Because <laughs> I'm good at that. It is absolutely beautiful in here. The rain has let up. And it's perfect. Oh, they've got a... We got a, have a projector. We put, put a movie there. theater back there. They've got a screen. So if we had a projector, yeah, that'd be cool. But this is Favor Dykes. It's just shy of St. Augustine and very handy towards that area. And that's what we're going to explore over the next couple of days. So look forward to that. One thing that's really weird, we haven't heard one bad thing about St. Augustine. All the stuff we've heard about it is that it's fantastic. So we're really looking forward to getting down there. Live music is good. The food and restaurants are good. I actually heard that the beaches weren't great. But the city itself, obviously the oldest city <laughs> in the United States, so it's supposed to be very cool. A lot of history. <laughs> Is it just me or do the kids seem happy to see us? I'm not sure. We'll see in a minute. We'll see in a minute. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? <laughs> wow, I think he might be happy to see Lori. How a high five, dude. Oh, oh wait, one more time. One. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at her. She was all like... Wow. Even though gonna come their dad told them to. They realize he's me the eye. Oh, that's disturbing. <laughs> All right, we're heading back over now to go to our pajama party. Jurassic oh, Park sleepover. Yeah. <laughs> it is the Jurassic Park sleepover edition. Yeah. And that is where we're going to end this video. It would be cool if you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on everything that we're doing. It would be equally as awesome if you liked the video. And we'll see you again in another one really, really soon. Say goodnight, guys. Bye. 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 Cue the music. Cue the music. Dun, 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 dun.